Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, today, the prophecy has been foretold. Every year in September, we get a Nintendo Direct. And lo and behold, we are getting a Nintendo Direct tomorrow at 7 a.m. It's a 40-minute Nintendo beefy big boy Direct focusing on games releasing this winter. And I could not be more cautiously optimistic. I'm actually very excited. But honestly, I, I mentioned this in a video a couple weeks ago. I wasn't really feeling as much hype for this Direct as we normally do, I feel like, just because we know so much going into this holiday season. I feel like there's no real room for new announcements for this holiday season, and even in the next year, we know more than we normally do with Peach Game and Dark Moon, and hopefully, the big big question mark for this Direct is Metroid Prime 4, so I feel like we already know a lot, but maybe there will be a lot to really surprise us in this Nintendo Direct. It's also going to be interesting to see how it kind of shapes what people perceive to be the release timing of the next console you know if there's no no huge games announced here people are gonna be like oh that means switch 2 is coming out in march but if there's a ton of stuff here i mean people are still gonna say that anyway but it should certainly be an exciting direct 40 minutes is is very long i mean there's not that many directs that are 40 minutes mostly they're usually around that 35 minute range so 40 minutes is a fully featured of course we're gonna get updates on every nintendo game coming out this year which means detective pikachu returns wario where move it mario wonder mario rpg i mean we're gonna see all of that stuff here as well as luigi's mansion dark moon and that untitled peach game i would assume those will get proper release dates if i had to put a guess on those i would say dark moon's probably like february and then the peach game will be maybe may let's say as just a you know throwing out the dartboard guess for when those will come out although dark moon came out in march originally so maybe maybe march for that but I don't know. Those will definitely be in the first half of the year, in my opinion. And then for new stuff to be shown in this Nintendo Direct, I mean, that's really what we don't know. There have been some leaks, and I am going to talk about them really quickly. So skip ahead like two minutes if you don't want to hear this. Of course, famed famed insider Puro, Bird and Beam Man from WarioWare on Twitter. Uh, they leaked a decent amount of stuff, but nothing like huge, which I think has made a lot of people also kind of like, eh, what's going on with this Direct? Is this, is this really all that's worth leaking? And it's spoiler alert a mario versus donkey kong game and f-099 those are very small scale games i would assume a mario versus donkey kong game that might be a physical release at this point maybe like a 50 dollars game i mean depending on how they they position it or it could be a, an eShop game i mean nintendo doesn't really do that many eShop games anymore it feels like the last one was uh, kirby's dream buffet but i don't know i mean that's either way that's gonna be here i mean puro has not led us astray yet so i would i would assume mario versus donkey kong is a lock for this Nintendo Direct, but that seems like a smaller tier announcement. Same thing with F-Zero 99. We've heard a lot of rumblings of F-Zero GX coming back, and then Puro kind of surprised us all by saying F-Zero 99, which is, I mean, that's a meme. That's a meme game from like four years ago. People were talking about that when they did Tetris 99. It's like, oh, what games can they do? Donkey Kong 99, Wrecking Crew 99, F-Zero 99. So if that's real, then that's surprising that Nintendo would do that, but also it is interesting. I wonder if that does mean F-Zero GX will be here. I mean, that's that's the one that's been rumored. I would hope so. And that leads us into our first major talking point. Will there be a proper GameCube Shadow Drop here? I mean, that has been the talk of Nintendo this year. Each Direct has had some sort of GameCube Shadow Drop, be it Metroid Prime Remastered, be it the Pikmin 1 and 2 HD Collection. Will we get one this time around? I'm inclined to think yes. I actually think we will. And I, I don't know if it'll be F-Zero GX. I bet makes the most sense especially if they want to kind of tie it in with f-099 although if it is f-0 gx i feel like f-099 would be the shadow drop and then f-0 gx would maybe come out in december or something that would be my my guess i don't think they would shadow drop both of those games but maybe they would in which case i mean that's awesome more more gamecube goodness for everybody other candidates i i would like to see be shadow dropped are metroid prime 2 and 3 luigi's mansion 1 i mean there's still plenty of gamecube stuff they could port over it's just a matter of what they choose to do so i would i'm expecting one i mean i think if they did it twice in a row already i think it's a pattern i think we are are allowed to expect that from this director or at least an announcement maybe not a shadow drop but a new gamecube game coming to switch that's that's what i expect from this direct as well there's been a lot of speculation about what will close this Nintendo Direct. Puro had kind of teased and asked what we think will close the Direct and left it at that. So I do want to talk about that. But before we talk about what's closing it, let's talk about what's opening it here. The last Nintendo Direct had a very weird opening. If you remember, they opened with Pokemon DLC. And I think that might actually continue. There are two candidates, I think, for a prime, not pun intended, 
uh, a prime candidate for, for opening this Nintendo Direct. The first of which is Splatoon 3 Side Order. For some reason, that was completely absent from the last Nintendo Direct. And while I don't know if it's going to come out this year anymore, I do think that Splatoon 3 Side Order will show up in this Direct. That is the big paid story, single player, beefy expansion to Splatoon 3. I think that has to show up in this Direct. And I could even see it opening the Direct. I mean, Splatoon 3 just had its first year anniversary, and it's a big deal for Nintendo. And if this is a more low-key Direct in terms of having new announcements, Splatoon 3 is something that I think it, it, it would make sense to open with the DLC for one of 2022's biggest games. The other game that I could see opening this Direct, and this could also close it, but I would lean more towards opening it, especially if Metroid Prime 4, which we'll talk about, is in the Direct, because that'll obviously close it, um, is Fire Emblem 4 Remake. Nintendo has a, a, a history with the Switch generation of opening and closing Nintendo Directs with Fire Emblem and Xenoblade. Fire Emblem, Xenoblade, Fire Emblem, Xenoblade. There have been, like, actually four Nintendo Directs that open with Fire Emblem, which is a lot. That's weird, <laughs> you know? So I think, you know, if, if it's that time for the FE4 remake, which we pretty much know is happening, it, it was leaked a long, long time ago and rumored from Emily Rogers and other insiders, and then it was kind of basically confirmed with the... the code name for engage being fe19 and three houses being fe17 we know there's something in between there i assume that's all that's real and it's fire Emblem 4 remake i don't know if i i i'm so confident it's coming out super early next year though i think there's a chance you know initially i was thinking oh it'll be january that's kind of like the fire emblem time slot a lot of the time you know awakening engage um, even Echoes came out like very early in the year, the year it came out. But with Engage just releasing this January, I do wonder if maybe, maybe they save that Fire Emblem 4 remake announcement for the February Direct next year and have it release in May or June, or even later in the year. I feel like, you know, the, the rumors suggest that Nintendo is sitting on that remake. Why not sit on it a little bit longer? I feel like there's other stuff they could have. So why not put some distance in between Engage and this FE4 remake if that if that is the case? So I feel like maybe maybe that won't be announced here. But also, I'm, I don't know, I'm 50-50 on it. I could see it going either way. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think FE4 remake will show up in this Nintendo Direct? And then, yeah, let's talk about Metroid Prime 4. I don't know. I really... I've, I've done the same song and dance with Metroid Prime so many times at this point that I just don't know. I don't want to believe. I feel like it's right the time is right but i said that in june i said that in february so i'm just gonna sit back and relax i'm just gonna sit back and then if we see metroid prime 4 great if we don't see it great i don't really care i just <laughs> i'm so burnt by this game at this point predicting it to show up in nintendo directs of course i have to mention it it is one of the three announced nintendo games that are that will likely come out next year but I just don't know anymore. I, I want to say it'll be here. I want to say it'll be the big closer for the Direct, the big grand re-reveal of Metroid Prime 4. But also, the way they treated Metroid, maybe it would be like in the middle. You know, Metroid Dread was revealed in the middle of the E3 2021 Direct. And what did that even close on? Did that, did that close on Zelda? Yeah, that closed on Zelda. I don't know. I feel like Metroid Prime 4, it will probably end their Direct if it's here. But maybe it could be in the middle. Who knows? Maybe it could open it. Probably not open it. Um, But yeah, Metroid Prime, I, I hope it's here. I just... I'm hesitant to really say anything concrete on that in terms of a prediction. I, I hope it's here. I just, I don't know anymore, man. And with that, we're kind of just in the truly unknown. I mean, personal ones for me, Rhythm Heaven, I would love, 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 love a new Rhythm Heaven game. That would be an absolute huge deal for me. Um, a lot of people think there will be a new 2D or even 3D Donkey Kong game. I don't really think so. I never really bought into that. I know there's hirings from like Nintendo's Tokyo EPD teams and all that that suggest they're doing a 2D game, but I don't know. I, I just don't really see why now's the right time for a new Donkey Kong game. That to me reads as something that would be saved for the next console, but we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll be wrong about that and we'll get a new DK game on the Switch next year. Paper Mario is another name that's been thrown around a lot in the past 12 months. I don't think it's time for that either because we're getting Mario RPG in November, so I think that's off the table. So honestly, my two big ones that really haven't been rumored or heavily even suggested by anyone are Kid Icarus. I would love, love, love to see Kid Icarus Uprising come back or a new Kid Icarus game in some form or fashion. Kid Icarus is one of, the, one of my favorite Nintendo IP that isn't represented on the Switch right now, so that would be number one right there. And then right next to it, a game that I think is... 
once again, I've kind of been predicting this for a while, so maybe it's not likely, but I feel like it should be likely, is Tomodachi Life. Tomodachi Life is a huge system seller on 3DS. I mean, that game is in the, it's one of the best selling 3DS games. It did huge. It still has a very popular following on like TikTok and stuff. I feel like Tomodachi Life has to come back. I mean, they did Topia, so why? Why not bring Tomodachi Life back? Even if it is just like an enhanced port, I feel like Tomodachi Life just makes a lot of sense. Once again, this could be something they save for like the February Direct next year. You know, you don't have to cram it in right now in the September Direct, but Tomodachi Life and Kid Icarus, I would love to see both of those, absolutely. I have seen a lot of talk of Smash Bros getting a content update. I actually, I don't think it'll happen here, and, and I think it would probably be saved for some sort of ult ultimate edition on the next console, but I do think it's possible. Just because, and I was actually saying this back when the Mario Kart DLC was announced, like, I mean, I, I was, I, you can go back, find the clip of me saying it from 2021, or sorry, 2022, when they announced the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, I said, the Booster Course Pass is being done to get people to subscribe to the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack, obviously, it's free with that, what are they gonna do once that DLC is over at the end of 2023, and... You know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe getting DLC, that made sense in 2018 and 2017, but I don't think anybody expected it to happen so late. Nintendo going back to that well so late after its initial release, I mean, in 2014. I think the same thing could happen with Smash Bros. if they want to have another ongoing DLC to entice you to, to subscribe to Switch Online. I think that actually makes a lot of sense. Even if it's not a full fighter's pass, even if it's just like, here's a stage pass or, or a costume pass or something to get people talking about one of Nintendo's, you know, more evergreen titles, every direct, you know, having a Mario Kart DLC has been a nice staple for the past two years. Maybe go back to some casual smash. Maybe you'd be like, hey, it's a first party fighter's pass. Nothing crazy, guys. I don't think that's going to happen here, but I, I could see them doing something like that in the near future. But like I said, they'll probably save that for some sort of souped up Switch 2 version, I, I, I would guess. And then the final thing I want to mention is Zelda. We just learned that Tears of the Kingdom is not going to have DLC. Aonuma said there's no plans for it at the current moment anyway. But I do wonder, could we see something else Zelda related? Now, I don't think Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are happening. I'm just going to be real with you all. I really don't think that's happening on the switch one i feel like if it was going to happen it would have happened before tears of the kingdom but i do feel like and once again i've been predicting this for years and it just has not manifested yet i feel like a 2d zelda has to be cooking once again this would probably be announced next year but i i don't know i just feel like it's been so long since the link between worlds and even since link's awakening if you want to count that that i, I just feel like there has to be a 2d zelda game coming for the original Switch. Maybe it's a multiplayer game, maybe it's not, but a 2D Zelda game in 2024, I feel like that just makes a lot of sense for the Switch. And actually, now that I'm talking through Zelda, I do want to shout out Xenoblade X. I would like that. That'd be very nice. Or Xenoblade Warriors. I could see either of those happening here. Um, Xenoblade X, actually, maybe. Maybe Xenoblade X. Because by the time it would come out next summer, it would be over two years, or around two years since Xenoblade 3 came out. Yeah, maybe Xenoblade X, maybe Xenoblade Warriors. Those would be some pretty nice, nice juicy announcements for a big Xenoblade fan here. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you want to see in the comments down below. What do you want to see in this big, beefy 40-minute Nintendo Direct? Uh, it's nice. It's, like I said, weirdly cautiously optimistic. Just because I feel like there's so much we already know this will really be a true tell of like how much juice the Switch has left in it. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this Direct will surprise some people, which is like a weird out of left field announcement, though maybe maybe that was already leaked by Mr. Pure over there. So like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you want to see? What do you hope to see from this Direct? And of course, subscribe here. I'll be posting my reactions and discussions uh, throughout the day tomorrow. I haven't decided if I'll stream it yet. If I, if I do, you know, you'll be able to see the, the scheduled stream. So we'll see about that. But until next time, folks, thank you so much for watching. Peace.